playing zombies can be difficult and even more difficult as a solo player but no worries this will be the ultimate guide for soloing zombies in modern War 3 these tips and tricks will be good for anyone even if you're a brand new person or even a pro zombie player i would be showing how to get more stash space than the normal amount a way to instantly kill a boss by just looking at them how to get revived even without a self res and much more things that you do not want to miss out on and you will want to watch this video as this is the best out there so drop a like and let's get into it for the first tip if your stash is full this will give you a lot more space than just the regular amount of 10 as you can see i have a full stash but we're going to be able to put more items in it so hover over the item you want to put in the stash and press the button to swap now go into the schematic crafting and click anything in here and you will now have whatever you clicked on in your inventory but whatever you swapped will be in the stash making it so you have more stash space I think for me showing you this cool trick though, you should subscribe because I got more tricks and tips to be shown. And the next thing is before you load in, you do need to know what to use. I recommend bringing in the crossbow as this will be super helpful, which I will be showing later on. And make sure to have the thermite tip on it, but you can mess with the other attachments on it and using decoys for a tactical as you can replenish them at any refill station. And acts like a monkey bum. For the lethal though, I will use a throwing knife as it will one hit zombies or two hit zombies that have armor. Now you will need an explosive for later on as well. So you can can use a grenade or you can find explosives around the map and for the field upgrade should be ether shower so you can run away without these zombies chasing you or the tesla storm as this world stealing zombies not allow them to hit you to allow you to also get away weapons don't matter other than the crossbow for the most part as we will be getting better ones once we are in the game if you do have special schematics you can bring them in to get a head start in the game which is a great way to start. Now, when you do start out, you're gonna want to do some contracts to get rewards, even schematics. There are easier ones and very difficult contracts to do, but before I get into which one I recommend doing, if you happen to not want to do the contract or picked up the wrong one, you can simply cancel it by bringing up your map and pressing B on the keyboard or on a console, one of your buttons. I'm not sure as I'm on the PC, but the contract will be canceled. And the contracts I recommend doing that are the easiest is to deliver the cargo. This is one of the very simple ones. And this contract will also give you a free vehicle bond and you will have a heli chase you, but you don't ever have to worry about the heli because it won't ever do enough damage to do anything. Now the next contract, I recommend doing that not too difficult is eliminate the bounty as this isn't too difficult to complete in the low threat zone but can get a little challenging if you go up to the medium threat zones and stuff now once you have done some contracts it's just time to move on to the next step which is making bosses a lot easier now remember when I had told you to bring the crossbow in this beautiful weapon is a lot of fun especially pack a punch and it does pack a punch this will eliminate bosses fast as well as once it's packed you can shoot three of them without reloading so use that money that you earn doing them contracts and get this weapon pack and you can keep doing the eliminate the bounty contracts even easier than before if you find a turret mod though pick them up as they are really helpful when you are solo and this is very strong and will help clear out and keep clearing zombies away from different areas of the map especially if you're doing a contract and one happens to be there take advantage of it once you have collected up to 10k we're gonna buy a weapon in the high threat zone that's off the wall and hope that's a legendary weapon but the easiest way to do this is to mark it on the map and grab a vehicle and, and try not running over the zombies as in the high threat zone they do a lot of damage and just do it a drive by on the weapon on the wall and get out of there as soon as possible and now you have a legendary weapon sometimes it will be an epic rarity and if that's the case try and drive by another weapon and just do the same thing the next thing i'll talk about is how to get unlimited self revives if you remember i mentioned about needing an explosive thing so grenades some texas or even a rocket launcher will work with this and you need to collect chunks of meat which will drop if you eliminate the zombies with explosives once you have those four chunks of meat make your way to the red zone what i found best is to fly in from this location over here on the map and if zombies are attracted to you make sure to throw them decoys down to distract the zombies and place your chunks of meat in this dog house and it will spawn in a hellhound for you and this dog will revive you and also will attack zombies for you let me know if i should make beginner guide or another guide for zombies as i get more tips and tricks that can be taken advantage of and if you want a good way to level weapons up fast in zombies check this video out here as this is the next best way to level any weapon up after they patch the x strategy 